So that's kind of cool. And there's coins in it. So we're going to open it and see what's in there. And no one will ever know. Deep in the woods. Oh my God. Oh my God. Deep in the oh woods. God. It was ringing real good. This popped up. Ten inches down. Hello. Ten inches down with a solid sound. Mule shoe, mule shoe, you're so sweet. I'm gonna take you home with me. I dug it up, I dug it up for my baby. But he doesn't want it, no. He says, go wash your hands. All right, it's Tuesday, and I'm out here at the field. Um, I'm gonna try hitting that today, and I actually might go across the street here to this field. Uh, when I was talking to the owner of the mill, who lives right over there, um, he was telling me that when they put the highway in, they brought a bunch of fill over um, and put it in that field. So I don't know if it's worth hitting or not. I won't know until I dig a couple holes. Because um, from the looks of things, they put some over here too, and I've been pulling stuff out. So um, we're gonna check that out. I have a friend, Scott Nichols, from Facebook, who's actually coming to meet me here today and do some detecting. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can find today. All right, so after digging the watch winder that was two inches below the surface, I decided not to be so picky about deep hits. And I just turned this up two inches down. Now, what it is, I'm not sure, um, but it's old and it's actually pretty cool. It rang up as 78, 79. So I don't know if it's that blade of a knife. All right, just got a musket ball. Did all that digging for a freaking musket ball. Thank goodness I'm in a field and I can just cover it up and no one will ever know. Alright, I got a nice piece of pipe. Fun times in the field. Man, it always starts out slow, but then I get that one thing that's like, alright, let's keep going. I've yet to find that one thing. And I've dug a ton of holes. I've just spared you all the junk. So, well, most of the junk, obviously. Um, alright, so let's keep going. Hopefully we find some coins. If not, I'll go hop that fence and I'll get in that field and I'll find like 10 silver coins. Okay? All right, I just got stung by my second bee. Um, they seem to be swarming. So I think I'm just gonna like kind of make my way over to that field and uh, we'll see if I find anything. Got a nice fat ring. Boy. Bring up nice. 66. I just dug up another piece of iron. So, um, yeah. I don't know. I'm sure it came up with some farming equipment or something. But it's got that weird, like, thing on it. I don't know. I bet you guys do, though. Got some iron and it's a tool of some sort. Alright, um, I'm gonna head over there towards the mill. Maybe head it over there. Um, Scott's still not here, but he should be here soon. Uh, so I don't think I'm gonna make him climb the gate. So when he gets here, I'll probably jump back over. Um, so, Alright, back to it. Look at all these bees! Good thing you're not allergic, because I've been stung twice. I was like, oh, I hope he's... I'm thinking that the whole time you're on your way out here. Alright, so I just like this iron thing. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's like a puck. But yeah. Uh, anyway, Scott's here. The CTX 3030. So, um, yeah, this should be fun. Let's see if we can find anything. He'll probably catch something I missed with my AT Pro. I got something cool I just called. Just got over to check it out. It's a compact? I think so. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a design on the back of it. Oh, yeah. Cool Maybe you'll get lucky and there'll be a coin Coins inside in there, I know. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's a coin. Whereas Juliet says, it's a coin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it says something. 
Princess patent. <laughs> All right, let's Compact. open it up. Wait, should we open it up or should we wait? I feel like I might break it. Here. Yeah. I'm going to give you a better look at this compact I just dug. Check it out. I flipped it over and it's got that nice Art Deco. And it's heavy. So I'll probably be opening it and I'll put it I'll tag it on the end of this video. But I really don't want to break it cuz it's pretty in itself. And it could just be like powder or something in there. Gorgeous. All right, Scott thinks you just found a trade token. Oh yeah. It's for shape yeah. lotion or something yep. like that. Yep, I found the other five. They come in a six piece set. Oh yeah? Yeah, and you just got the six one. I was looking everywhere for it, that's awesome. Yeah, it's palm olive and Colgate yeah. shape. Yeah, that's a nice shape one too. Congratulations. Thank you. Tokens are fun. Very nice. I just got a zinc lid. Man, those things sound so good. And this is like the fifth one we pulled out today. It's like, oh, come on, please give me a break. Um, but yeah, I got a lid. And I have a friend who collects them, so. I'm seeing him on Saturday. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I am going to a Civil War field hospital on Saturday to go digging. So I will be posting a video um, of that whole adventure. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can watch. Field Hospital in Gettysburg. Yeah. Guess what I just found? It's the other half of the powder flask from the find of the day video with Stephen Ocker, the man with the hat. Ah, oh, sweet. I pulled it out and I threw it right back down and I grabbed my phone and I was like, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe it. I found the other half. So now I have the complete powder flask. Well, oh, granted, it's not going to be fitting back together anytime soon, but I have both sides and that's really cool. So, all right, yes. I'm starting to think that someone actually planted these mason jar lids because I am finding a zillion of them, but I'm focusing around this tree now because I found the other half of the powder flask, and I found the compact, which was so cool. Um, so there's a lot of crappy signals in here. I'm between so much foil, but I'm sure my persistence will pay off. It's a coin. It's a bag of coins. All right, my husband just found something awesome. You are full of crap. It's like plastic, and there's coins in it. I don't want to open it. Oh my gosh, wait. A little coin purse. So that's kind of cool. And there's coins in it. So we're going to open it and see what's in there. Can't open it. Oh my gosh, they're all like stuck together. <coughs> you have to rip it maybe? Yeah, definitely nothing special. Oh, it's a wheat penny. Ah. 45, isn't that a... Yeah, that's a war that's a silver nickel. And a 44. Oh, sweet! All right, our day of metal detecting has come to a close. My son has his kindergarten orientation tonight, so um, I gotta get go into that. But we did awesome. We had so much fun. Scott came up, and that was great. Oh, sorry, there was a lag. Um, and then we found the compact and the freaking coin purse. I couldn't believe it. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be so exciting. And, um, yeah, I already opened the coin purse. So, uh, yeah, you'll want to stick around for that. Hey guys, hope you liked the video. Make sure you like and subscribe so that I can reach more people with my channel. So we got two goodies here today. Check it. All right, I'm gonna do it right here on the driveway. Come on, please. Drum roll, please. All right, oh, here comes my friend, the chicken. Hey, Red, what's up? It's not food, they're coins. 
stay there. Don't bug me, okay? Oh, no, Pepper. It's not food. It's coins. Everybody go away. All right, let's see. I love you too, Pepper. That's my border collie. He's 17 years old. 1945. Oh, look. Here's Waits. Hey, Waits. Oh, and the evil one. Go away, guys. Stop it. Everybody leave me alone. Okay. 45. And, oh, there's Annie. Oh, my gosh. You can see I have a lot of pets. 44. Silver War Nickels. And, quink. A 42 Weedy. Sweet. So... 42. I don't know if that would be steel. Probably not, because it's in okay shape. And then I gotta go soak this. Give that a good soaking. And pop it open. See what's in there. Alright, it just exploded on me. Oh, it was blush. I'm so